this is not a normal video. I have about 20 minutes uh, until the boat carrying me back to my ship uh, leaves. Uh, but I am currently on a hill in Ilulisset in, uh, in Greenland, along with uh, John, who works for uh, Telepost Greenland, and Jakob, who is my translator here, and who is also holding my <laughs> microphone inside his coat. And the reason we're here is because this is the microwave relay site for this entire town and by extension, everywhere north. And John here has kindly agreed to answer a few questions. This, uh, this is gonna be a slightly rough video. The largest package you can get is about four megabits. And how long does it take you to upload something? Oh, well, like the upload speed is 0.7 megabits per second. So it takes a horrendous amount of time to upload anything. Uh, yeah, there's a line of sight all the way from the south, from mountaintop to mountaintop, all the way up here and way up north. So we should actually be able to see the other relay yeah, where, tower. Where is, where is the next relay station? Ah, yeah, yeah. oh, alright. So the next relay station is about 40 kilometers south of here, from in Kasigingwit. It's an unbroken link, uh, but of course there can be some obstructions. Yeah, there's actually a fun little story about the next village up. It's only eight kilometers away, but there was a huge iceberg that uh, shadowed it from here so they actually had no internet uh, this summer but also if there's a relay station which loses power uh, down south we might actually also lose it up here so there was a whole day where there was no internet up here due to the relay station that had some bad batteries i think it was if there's a sun station that goes out all the way up north there's no signal right. they, they, they can't pull the sea cable all the way through here due to these massive icebergs uh, they scrape along the bottom uh, bottom of the ocean. So per next year, they're going to upgrade all the system. They're going to pull a uh, sea cable all the way from Nuuk all the way to Asiat, which is about 120 kilometers ish that way. And they're going to upgrade these cell towers to carry high speed connections all the way up to Umanak as well. <laughs> During the winter, there's these domes uh, get covered up fully with ice, so they need to go and... Uh... John, thank you so much. <laughs> Jacob, uh, holding my microphone. Welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, that, was, that was not exactly the usual sort of, uh, sort of video. Let me turn this camera right. There we go. That, that was really not the sort of usual video that I do, but um, thank you very much. Uh, Jacob here um, <laughs> just kind of emailed me when I said I was coming here and said, do you want to film a thing? Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. And, no and uh, let me move that camera. There we go. Thank you so much. That's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here because of Chris Hadfield's Generator Arctic, and so is he. My name's Tim Kellner. I have a YouTube channel, Tim to the Wild, and I make short little cinematic travel films. Go check out everything by him and all the other folks out on this project.